The asparagus spider is a harvesting machine that helps harvest white asparagus. The machine makes the work lighter, so the work can continue for longer. Manually removing and putting back cover foil and thermic foil is hard labor. The asparagus spider takes over these tasks entirely. The machine also transports empty and full crates. This enables employees to fully concentrate on harvesting asparagus. This instruction shows how the asparagus spider works and how to operate it for best results. The driving frame of the machine contains an electric motor, chain drive and an operation panel. Both drive wheels are powered by an electric motor. The foil guide lifts up the cover foil and thermic film and guides it through the duct. The asparagus are harvested underneath the duct. The guiding wheels help to guide the machine neatly along the asparagus beds. The tailpiece is located at the back of the machine. This part ensures that the cover foil is laid back onto the asparagus bed. The wider foil placer on the tailpiece is used for the transparent foil. This part ensures that the transparent foil is placed over the M arches to create a tunnel. The battery pack provides enough energy to work a full day. The machine has enough space to transport empty and full harvesting crates. The crate support is used to carry the crate containing the harvested asparagus. The operation panel is equipped with an emergency stop, speed controller, reverse, neutral and forward switch and a button for top speed. A battery indicator shows the battery pack status. The switch cord is used to switch the machine on and off with a simple hand movement. Asparagus beds are always covered with cover foil to ensure that the asparagus stays white and does not discolor in the sun. In addition, many fields are also covered with thermal foil. This foil is placed along an arch that is placed over the asparagus bed lengthwise and ensures warm air which helps the asparagus grow more quickly. The cover foil and thermic foil are attached to a wooden stake with a foil fastener at the start and end of each asparagus bed. This ensures that both foils are neatly and tightly positioned over the asparagus beds. First, place the black box onto the machine. Next, place the blue box onto the machine. Connect the two boxes with the red plugs. Then connect the battery pack to the machine using the grey plug. Place enough empty crates on top of the machine. One empty crate is placed onto the crate support. This crate will be used to store asparagus during harvesting. Select a speed that suits your work rhythm. Turn the motor selector switch to the right so that the asparagus spider can move forward. Start the machine by pressing the switch cord upwards. Halt the machine by pressing up the switch cord again. Drive the machine to the desired asparagus bed. Hold the machine right in front of the asparagus bed you want to harvest. Push the back of the machine to position it exactly in front of the asparagus bed. Pull the foil lengthener through the machine's duct. 
hook the foil lengthener with a hook attached to the foil fastener to the cover foil and thermic foil. Next, use the foil lengthener to pull the foil on tension and start the machine with the switch cord. Now follow the machine and pull the foil lengthener towards you in order to pull the foil through the machine's duct. Next, walk back to the machine to halt it. The foil should now be reattached to the wooden stake. It is not possible to connect the foil fasteners to the stake because the foil is running over the machine. Use an extra foil fastener to extend the foil fasteners that are already on the foil. Arrange the cover foil on top of the inner foil layer. Next, arrange the thermic foil on top of the outer foil layer and the machine's funnels. The machine will now lay the cover foil on the asparagus bed. The thermic foil is placed over the M arches to create a tunnel. If no tunnel cover is needed, both foils can be arranged on top of the inner foil layer. Both foils will now be laid between the M arches over the asparagus bed. If thermic foil is not needed, it can be laid to one side. Arrange the cover foil on top of the inner foil layer. Now ensure that the thermic foil is positioned along the inner foil layer on one side. The machine will now neatly position the thermic foil between the side of the asparagus bed and the M arches. If the cover foil is facing black side up, the machine can turn it back over to the white side. The cover foil should be manually turned once at the start of the bed. When turning over cover foil, it is important to let the thermic foil run over the blue roller. Now the cover foil has the space needed to turn underneath the thermic foil. The asparagus spider lifts the cover and thermic foils to create a workspace for asparagus harvesting. Set a suitable machine speed that fits your work rhythm and walk along with the machine, harvesting asparagus at the same time. Because it is important that the asparagus are properly harvested, you should not allow the machine to rush you. If there are only a few asparagus, it is also possible to drive the machine from one asparagus to the next. Hold the machine with the switch cord when you see an asparagus spear. After harvesting it, restart the machine using the switch cord. The machine can easily drive out of the bed. The foil fasteners are automatically lifted off the stake. Next, Drive the machine far enough out of the bed to create sufficient space to refasten the cover and thermic foils. Remove the additional foil fastener and reattach the original foil fasteners to the stake. Make sure that both foils are sufficiently tensioned again. If necessary, the foil fasteners can be placed further up the foils in order to create more tension. To turn the machine, push the rear end of the machine to the left or right. Keep turning until the front end of the machine is positioned in front of the next bed. Hold the machine with the switch cord. Push the rear end of the machine to the left or right to turn the machine. When the machine is positioned in the right driving direction, it can be started again with the switch cord. Turn the motor selector switch to the left in order to engage neutral gear. Next, pull the machine backwards by its rear end.
hold the machine by pressing the switch cord. Turn the motor selector switch to the middle position so that the machine can no longer be turned on and off with the switch cord. Next, disconnect the battery pack by pulling out the grey plugs. The machine is now completely switched off. Remove the full and empty crates from the machine and take them to the collection point. Finally, remove the blue and black boxes from the battery pack and take them to the charging station. Place the blue and black boxes on a stable surface near the battery charger. Next, connect both crates to each other with the red plugs. Connect the grey plug to the grey plug on the battery pack. The battery charger will now start charging the battery pack. A red light illuminates on the charger. When the battery pack is fully charged, a green light will illuminate. Disconnect the grey battery charger plug from the battery pack. Only after doing so, disconnect the red plugs from the crates. If used correctly, the asparagus spider ensures safe and efficient harvesting of asparagus. The machine takes over the heavy work of lifting the foils and carries the asparagus for you. This will enable you to fully concentrate on harvesting asparagus, which will result in a very high amount of kilos per hour. If you use the machine as directed, success is guaranteed.